What's this? Hey, Logan, that girl who follows you around is here. Hey, I'm Adam Coppola, and I'm here with Jason Doring. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure, man. Thanks. So how excited are you that Veronica Mars is coming to the big screen? You know, it's only been a year since we raised the money for, from Kickstarter, and uh, I just saw the film about a week and a half ago, and I would say it's like a nine. I think it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. I'm uh, really excited, and especially when you have the, the fans who raised the money for it, like you would want it, that project in particular to be something special, and I think we have something special. I'm sure you know breaking and entering is a felony. Come on, I knew the felonies before I knew the state capitals. Veronica, you know, who's a private detective, hasn't taken a case in seven years. You know, she kind of went on the straight and narrow, uh, became a lawyer, went to law school, and is about to graduate, and then my character hasn't talked to her in about seven years. My pop star girlfriend is murdered, and I uh, call Veronica for help. I need your help, Veronica. I don't really do that anymore. So she can't resist and uh, she winds up uh, taking the case. I'm just gonna go out there, help Logan weed out the shysters. Was it easy for you to fall back into your role for this one? Right out of the gates, like out of high school, I got to do this role and it was sort of a dream role, like I got to play the bad boy and then it, there was a wonderful love story in it and just, you know, had very witty dialogue and uh, I don't know, I spent like three years with the role, you know, so it was kind of easy to fall back in and as soon as I started reading the names again, I started to feel this emotion like well up in me and, uh, you know, just carried that onto the film. What do you love about playing Logan? There's so many different aspects. It's like if you wanted a dream character, this would be it. I mean, especially to play him over 60 episodes when he's going up and down through life and he's losing family members and, you know, the love story and the hate and force and evil and charm and wit. I mean, it's just like everything kind of rolled up into one. So it's like I like playing all those different aspects in one character. It's like it almost doesn't make sense. But when you see it, I think uh, the way Rob wrote it, it's just very uh, flawless and seamless. I know Logan has his qualities, but there's a darkness to that kid. Don't go. This is more of that, I guess, leading man, like getting into fights and all the stuff leading men do, you know what I mean? I got Breaking headlights of cars, right? Yeah, exactly. So I got a chance to do that in the movie also. You know, we had great stunts and great fights. Don't you think that's gotten a bit old? Original enough for you? You know, also, you know, love elements and stuff like that. What was it like working with Kristen Bell and the whole cast again? We're all like just really good friends. You know, we'd go on ski vacations together and yeah. stuff like that and race snowmobiles and whatever. Like, so we just had a really good time. So I just felt like, uh, especially with like the producers being the fans, like they were on set every day. So we were just chatting with them in between takes. I'll never have another experience like that. It felt like a home video, you know what I mean? Like with all your friends.